Hi hello students welcome back to my english class in today's english class we are going to learn section 2 of the prose when the trees walked this is your prose name so come let's we move on to recall section 1 okay now i recall section 1 and i tell you some important points okay children see this scenery grandfather and ruskin bond are sitting in the veranda they have a very big house grandfather liked to grow some trees but grandmother liked to grow only flower plants to attract butterflies so grandfather also helped grandmother in growing trees and to attract butterflies is it clear this is our first section gets over and now we move on to section 2 glossary protested opposed or disagreed nightmare a frightening dream interfering stopping protested means something opposing or disagreeing some points and nightmare means very frightened dream and interfering means stopping so come let's we read out today's lesson grandfather wasn't content with growing trees in our compound during the rains he could walk into the jungle behind the river bed armed with cutting and sapling with he would plant in the forest first what grandfather is doing grandfather is not content with growing trees in his compound he also wants to build a jungle behind the river bed see when dry, raining he liked to walk into the jungle jungle means forest forest is behind the river bed so he going to plant some of the trees so he is carrying saplings with him saplings means any small plants but no one ever comes here i had protested the first time we did this who is going to see them now there is a conversation between ruskin bond and his grandfather they are planting the saplings not to get a good view but why they are planting the trees come let's we move on to see the reason okay children listen carefully see we are not planting them simply to improve the view replied grandfather we are planting them for the forest and for the animals and for the birds who live here and need more food and shelter trees gives us a very good shelter is it children so grandfather is planting trees not only get a good view but also planting trees for the animals and for the sake of birds who lives in the trees of course men need trees too he had a to keep the desert away to attract rain to prevent the banks of river from being washed away for fruit and for flowers leaves and seed yes for timber too but men are cutting down the tree replacing them and if we done sorry if we do not plant a few trees ourselves a time will come when the world will be one day great desert grandfather is planting trees for animals and for birds and for the other things also he explains men to need trees why did men need trees we need for so many things grandfather list out some of the things why did men need trees men need trees because trees gives us rains and it prevents the banks of river and also we get fruits and flowers and leaves and seeds from the trees and also timber too we get it from the trees but nowadays men are cutting down the trees without replacing any of the trees now we are cutting down so many trees without planting any trees it gives very dangerous effort to the world because one day world will be a great desert 
if we are continuously cutting down the trees and without planting any new tree means our world will be desert one day is it clear children okay i hope this section is very clear and very useful to you and now we move on to next page of section 2 okay children the throat of a world without trees become a sort of nightmare to me and i help grandfather in his tree planting with greater enthusiasm and while we went about our work he taught me a poem by george morris now riskin bond had some bad dreams so he also helped his grandfather in planting trees with very enthusiasm with enthusiasm means with very interest he started planting trees now grandfather taught him some poem by george morris what is that poem woodman spare the tree touch not a single bow in youth it sheltered me and i will protect it now see these four lines are given here woodman spare the tree touch not a single bow in youth it sheltered me and i will protect it now see these four lines how simple but very meaningful poem is it children what is the main idea of this poem given in your prose yes we should protect tree as grandfather listed trees gives us so many good things so we should protect and save trees this is one of our very important work to our society and also to our world see again i am reading the poem woodman spare the tree touch not a single bow in youth it sheltered me and i will protect now now the poet is protecting the tree it protected him when he was youth now we move on to next paragraph one day the trees will move again said grandfather they have been standing still for thousands of years but there was a time when they could walk about uh, like a people then along came an interfering busybody who cast a spell over them rooting them to one place but they are always trying to move see how they reach out their arms and some of them like the banyan tree with its traveling aerial roots manage to get quite far now grandfather tells that one day trees also will move again they are standing for thousands of years but there was a time when they could walk about like a people the trees also one day will walk like a people to see others life busybody means a person who is interested in other people's private life so one day trees will move like a people to see about other trees and so the like a banyan tree it's traveling its roots to manage get quite far a banyan tree also traveling aerial roots aerial roots means we have seen the roots of the banyan tree is it children okay come let's we move on to another paragraph children we found an island a small rocky island in a dry river bed it was one of those river beds so common in the foothills which are completely dry in summer but flooded du- during the monsoon rains now grandfather and author ruskin bond found an island it is a very small rocky island in a dry river bed he explains how the river bed in summer and how the river bed in the monsoon season during summer season the river bed gets dry completely and during monsoon and during rainy seasons the river bed flooded completely 
now grandfather seeing a mango tree so he is telling to ruskin bond that if some small trees are there let them be other trees also as soon as the rain sets in and while the river crossed still be they set with a number of tamarind labrunium and coral tree saplings and cuttings and spend the whole day planting the trees in the island now grandfather comes across a small mango tree so he had a idea to plant some more trees grandfather had idea to plant some more trees they planted some more trees like what they are planted here now they are planted tamarind tree labunium trees and also coral trees see i am repeating it again now they are planting some more saplings they spend a whole day on planting the islands now you are going to write glossary two times okay children thank you